name's Francis Bryce, sometimes known as The Rev, and I'm here to offer a spiritual response to life's questions. So um, I was contacted recently by someone who's read my first book, a little book on finding your way, um, which is about taking anything you do and applying some principles to transform it into a kind of spiritual practice. And um, <clears throat> it was really lovely to hear from that person and, and to hear the feedback that he's worked with those principles to transform his uh, cycle journey through London to work from something that was kind of full of frustration and uh, yeah maybe anger certainly you know had a particular flavour to something that is much more peaceful and is actually a kind of joyous part of his day and um, it set me back to thinking again something I, I consider a lot but it really set me to thinking again about how we can take the spiritual life we might want and um, weave it into our day-to-day -day life so that it's not something separate but something integrated because I think with so many of the spiritual traditions for various reasons and in various ways it's easy for them to end up being something you know I think with the Christian tradition it can be it's not always but it can be easy for it to end up being something I do in church that that's where my spiritual life lives it's not that I don't apply those principles in the rest of my life, but it kind of lives there on Sunday morning. And in a lot of the traditions, um, such as Buddhism, for instance, where it mainly comes from a monastic tradition, a tradition of monks, it can be easy that for the, the practice to become everything that we're working through meditation for enlightenment, for instance, um, but that that stays on the cushion, you know, that stays in my meditation space and doesn't come out into my life. Or that it can feel like it's impossible to achieve uh, real growth in that environment without living as a monk, because that's where the tradition comes from. So I'm constantly fascinated by this idea of how we can weave our spirituality into our daily lives so that our lives, our day-to-day -day activity serves our spirituality and our spirituality serves our day-to-day -day activity. Um, and the Sufi tradition is quite beautiful in that, that um, as I understand it, um, it's pretty much a requirement to still have a day-to-day -day life. It's, although the Sufi tradition is the mystic version of Islam, it's in some ways the closest version to a kind of monk's path in Islam um, compared with other traditions. It doesn't quite translate, but it's close. There's a kind of requirement to still have contact with day-to-day -day life. And, and I met a, a Sufi sheikh, a, a very senior Sufi teacher, some years ago and he's a he's a plumber that's his job day to day um and he has lots of followers and you know teaches amazing workshops and does amazing work i suspect he probably could make a living um if he chose to uh, serving as a spiritual teacher is the primary thing but there's something that seemed important for him about staying in contact with day-to-day -day life and doing something that's kind of nuts and bolts and with his hands so I wanted to offer that as something to reflect on for you to think about maybe in your life is, is there a way that you can take whatever spiritual life you currently have, whatever shape that takes, and weave it more into your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day uh, -day activities, um, so that spirit serves matter, perhaps, you know, or the, the physical, the day-to-day, the -day, and the day-to-day -day serves spirit. So these things are less separate and much more integrated, as ever. I offer these thoughts with love.